Hello, this is Rick, and we're back to filtering the AP tank. Add more solution to the filter. Down here, this last little bit is where you got all the gold. I don't know how well you can see all that. I'm sure, you can probably see some sparkle. I don't know if I can walk off around the shop with it and get it under any better light source or not either. I'm trying for you though. I want you to actually be able to see all that pile of foils. You can see it glowing pretty good in my cam, but I do not know. I've noticed when I'm watching this in playback that it doesn't look as good as it does right here in this view. But, that definitely the gold is definitely the gold foils. I guess it ain't much different. Maybe the other light source is a little better, I don't know. That's glowing pretty freaking bright there. Anyway, I wish it would give me a better view, but that's what you got to deal with. Like this a little bit, maybe I can swirl it around where you can see it. I have no idea what kind of view you got. I'm trying. But that is the foils. And of course, I do on myself and everything. I'll get them in the filter soon enough. It's just that it's filtering pretty slow. Let it pull the solution. And it will filter kind of slow like this for a while. Because the pores in the filter do plug up with all the fine junk that's in it and it makes it take a while to pull it and drip through. <sighs> so, at this point, you're pretty much at a sit and wait scenario. Wait for the solution to drip through the filter. You could, you can off the bulk of the solution first, but you're still going to be looking at filtering to recover all your fine foils unless you just absolutely let it sit still for a couple days when you're done and then take a turkey baster and draw off as much of solution as you can, as carefully as you can. Then you can reduce the volume down to where you can do a single pass through your filter and speed the process up. your only other option though alright I'm getting sidetracked here spinning stuff around in this I guess if I'm going to mess around while I'm waiting for that to filter I might as well let you see what I'm messing around with uh, spinning the solution as you can see it's all dirty looking I want to reaction. This ain't part of the standard procedure, but I'm going to do it. React. This would actually make the solution a little easier to filter, too, by doing this. Well, hang on. I'm actually going to grab my muratic jug. For the heck of it, I want to see if I can make it turn back antifreeze green. Because if it's antifreeze green, then this powder tint solution will pass through the filter and will not plug it. It's starting to go back towards the antifreeze green. That's accomplished, but it's not recommended that you do that in an enclosed space because when you add that muriatic acid to this, it does gas off slightly and you get a burst of chlorine if you ain't in a well ventilated area.
It will burn your nostrils and it will make you cough. Not wise. But, unless I'm willing to waste some more peroxide, that ain't gonna get it. So, uh, do I want to stop this and go grab some more peroxide and do this, or do I just want to tolerate it and then try to rinse it through the filter? I don't know. I guess I could go and get some more peroxide, throw it in here, try to make it turn back green, because if I don't, I'm going to have a bunch of copper sediment within my filter that's going to give me a bad day with the rest of my process for turning it into bullion. I don't know, I can still clean it up, but I don't want to go through that much work to turn it into a real nice shiny bead. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop this one and go grab my other peroxide and pick it up where I left off with this right here and see if we can make this turn into a nice green solution similar to that. When it's clear like that, it filters fairly well until the filter clogs like this one did. Once that one filters, I'm probably just going to pull that filter off the side, rinse it a little bit first and then start with a new filter and I'll ash this filter along with the other one and actually do the rest of the process on that. Yes, I'm probably going to go through the fire assay method on the rest of this rather than going through the acid Clorox. If I do that, the acid Clorox will be a separate series to follow this one. I have not made that determination yet. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I'm fixing to stop this one and go get some more peroxide and pick up with another video detailing the last of the filtering process. Thanks.